Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. I'm back you guys with a Bath and Body Works empties video. This is gonna be empties for the month of March. I don't have a lot of items, but I did wanna share with you all the things that I did go through for this month. So let's get started. I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer. One of the first items that I typically tend to go through pretty quickly are body scrubs. So I went through this Gingham Gorgeous foaming sugar body scrub which I absolutely adore um, this one is so good it's a nice sweet floral fragrance and I love the sugar scrubs because they give the skin a really nice polish and my skin is super moisturized and supple at the same time I adore this body scrub you guys and I used every bit of it so this scrub is a foaming sugar scrub Bath and Body Works they have many different types of scrubs so you kind of have to figure out which one work best for your preference I personally love the sugar scrubs I also love a good fruit enzyme scrub which I did pick up that new exfoliating polish and the body wash which is a fruit enzyme scrub so I'm super excited to try that out but meanwhile I did stock up on the foaming sugar scrubs I really do enjoy these a lot um, they just make my skin super soft so the fragrance notes for gingham gorgeous are pink strawberries peach nectar and peony blooms I love the peach and the strawberry fragrance in here really nice and sweet and it doesn't clash with any of my fragrances and it is very effective so I did finish one of those I also finished a hand soap and this is the Bath and Body Works pomegranate and blackberry this one is so good you guys the pomegranate and blackberry fragrance is so good I missed out stocking up on this scent and by the time I got around to testing this out and realizing that I love this fragrance this soap was sold out so it sold out during winter SAS I believe my daughter also mentioned how much she enjoyed this soap I think I purchased like two of them but I totally missed out with stocking up on this fragrance because I think it's such a good hand soap for fall and winter I love the pomegranate and the blackberry and it is gentle on the hands so the fragrance notes are autumn pomegranate sugared blackberry and vanilla spice so i get that vanilla spice of course you get more of like a fall type pomegranate and the blackberry is sweet it is so so good so if they come out with this one this coming fall i'm definitely going to stock up on this soap because i really really enjoyed this one so yeah um I finished that up. I also finished up another soap and this one is the Cotton Candy Grape. You guys, this one smells like grape Kool-Aid. I love scents that are very nostalgic and this one is super sweet, like candy grape sweet. I'm embarrassed to say how many hand soaps in this fragrance that I picked up. I have two full large Bath & Body Works bags of the Cotton Candy Grape. I stocked up on this during Winter SAS. I think these soaps were like a buck and some change. My entire family enjoy this scent. It's fun. It's almost like kitty candy sweet like, but I do enjoy this one. My kids do as well. I think it's just a really fun and super sweet smelling soap. The fragrance notes are juicy grapes, fluffy cotton candy, and sugared citrus. So I don't get too much of the citrus from this soap, but I do get that fluffy cotton candy and the grape is the prominent note. It is so syrupy sweet, you guys, but I love that about this soap. And the fragrance carries for quite a while after you wash your hands. So that's what really sold me on the cotton candy grape. So I won't need to be picking up any more of this one. I am set for quite some time. So let me know down below if you guys stocked up on the cotton candy grape. That one went super fast during SAS and trying to get my hands on it was definitely a struggle so I wanted to know you guys experience with getting the cotton candy grape this past winter SAS was it challenging and how did you feel about that fragrance 
Okay, so here's another soap that I finished up. This is in the Blackberry Bergamot. And I don't know what was going on with me this past winter SAS. I was into blackberry scented soaps and grape scented soaps. So um, yeah, this one is the Blackberry Bergamot and I really did enjoy this one. This one wasn't syrupy sweet, but it definitely had that fresh blackberry note and the bergamot was slightly citrus the packaging was nice too i do like that so the fragrance notes for this one dark blackberries snowy cedarwood and creamy vetiver i'm gonna give this a sniff because i forgot what this smells like okay so this one was quite unique in my opinion so you do have to enjoy vetiver to really enjoy this one um Vetiver can be quite overpowering and in this soap, I think it really did take over as the prominent note. I do get the blackberry, but it's not a sweet blackberry. It was more mild, but I do smell the bergamot, um, which is like a citrus fresh scent. So this one was quite unique in my opinion. Would I purchase it again? Probably not. It wasn't my favorite, but I did enjoy it. I definitely would repurchase the pomegranate and blackberry as well as the cotton candy grape. Okay, another item that I finished up that is not a Bath & Body Works item is it's actually a Sephora item and this is the dual exfoliating wipes. These are facial wipes. I enjoy these facial wipes so much. I continue to buy them because my husband constantly requests these and he's even gone with me to pick these up. That's how much he enjoys these as much as I do. These are very handy for like a daily facial exfoliation. And these wipes also contain fruit acid. So this one is a grapefruit extract. So it smells very fresh and it does smell like grapefruit, but the scent is not overpowering. And these work so well. My husband has dry skin, so he found that these work really well for him, so I mainly use it for his face, although I actually cut them in half, and I use half for his face and maybe the other half for my face, but I really do enjoy these. And some days I feel like I can go without washing my face. I can just use these. They clean my face as well as exfoliate my face. So after using these, my face feels very polished. I think they're like six bucks and some change at Sephora. And right now they have the 20% off and they're always doing like 30% off of Sephora products if you are a member. So you really can get a good deal on these and I always stock up. So I love these. They're very effective. I did finish up a candle, you guys, and I love this Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Single Wick Candle. I love to have these in my bathroom. It's so cozy, and if you love Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla fragrance, this smells exactly like the body care. All the throw on this mini candle, it's good, but it's not great. This one works best in a small to medium bathroom. It works perfect in my bathroom. I love to light this up when I wanna relax in the bathtub. I get that wonderful bare vanilla fragrance. And I did stock up on these when they have these going for like six bucks. I think that's a great deal because this candle regular price is $19.99. So I would never pay that price for this single wick candle, but Victoria's Secret will put this candle on sale. And when they do, you wanna make sure that you stock up on this one. So I have like maybe 12 of these stocked up. I cannot get enough. This smells incredible. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it burned beautifully, actually. I didn't have any problem. And these really have long burn times to be a single wick. Um, and unfortunately, the burn time is not on the bottom. But you want to burn this candle. It stays in four-hour intervals. I haven't had any problems out of this candle. This one is definitely a repurchase for me only if I can get these at the $6 price point. So I do highly recommend that. Another candle that I finished up is from Bath & Body Works. This is the White Barn number 33. It's a limited edition candle. And I believe you can still find this one at your local Bath & Body Works or online. The fragrance notes are espresso beans, warm vanilla and lemon peel. And I actually really did enjoy this one. I did review this one. So if you hadn't checked out my review for the number 33, you can go back and check that out. 
I really did enjoy this one. This one smelled gourmand to me. The lemon was the prominent note for this candle, but it was blended very well with that espresso coffee bean note. I was pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed this one. And the burn, however, was weird. The wicks began to drown, as you can see. I still have some wax on one side. The first couple burns for this candle was great. Once I got past the halfway mark for this candle, that's when I started having issues. The wicks were drowning. I remember my husband mentioning to me how difficult it was to keep this candle lit because he really did enjoy this one as well. And actually he was the main one lighting this candle. So yeah, this one became a problem once I got past the halfway mark for this candle, which I was really bummed about because I really did enjoy this one. So my husband mentioned like, maybe this is not a repurchase because of due to the issues with the wicks and the burn. So so I really wouldn't repurchase this one because of the issues that we had. I mean, these candles are expensive, so you really want to get your full potential out of these candles. And having issues after getting through these candles halfway is a no-go for me, so I will not repurchase. So that's that one. The next candle that I went through is the Blue Orchid Skies. And if you haven't checked out my review for this candle, you can go back and check that out. This candle was beautiful, you guys. It's a nice spring apple scented candle. The fragrance notes are spring apples, soft white woods, and fresh orchid air. This one was fresh. I love the spring apple here. It burned beautifully. This one did soot a lot, as you can see. I got some smoke around that beautiful jar color, but this one would be a repurchase for me because the fragrance is beautiful. It's right on season and I really did enjoy this. So I would repurchase Blue Orchid Skies, which is currently still available. So I'm gonna reposition my camera because the remaining items are pocket bags and wallflowers, and I wanna better display them for you, so I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and I do have a wallflower refill to share with you all that I finished up. This is the Fiji White Sands, and I had this one in my daughter's room, and she recommended that I just replace this one because she could no longer smell it. And this one would not be a repurchase for me as I felt like the projection just wasn't there. Um, it started off pretty good, but it just got weaker and weaker. And eventually there was just no scent. So I was really disappointed with the Fiji White Sands in the Wallflower refill. So I would not repurchase this one. So that's Fiji White Sands. We did go through the Fiji White Sands in the room spray. I enjoyed this one, but my husband, not so much. So I definitely am not going to repurchase this one just because he feels like the quality isn't there. It reminds him of Glade. I don't know what his challenge is with Glade, but we pretty much use Bath & Body Works here. So if he doesn't like it, I don't buy it. So I did finish this up. I also went through another room spray. This is the White Barn Fresh Amalfi Lemon. This one in the room spray is extremely strong. Um, I get more of the cedar wood note and the lemon, but it's just a weird combination, in my opinion, in the room spray. I did enjoy this in the candle, which I think it's better in that form, but the room spray, way too strong. It's more of like a lemon woody fresh scent. And I just didn't like the cedar wood in here in the room spray. Very overpowering. So I will not be repurchasing fresh Amalfi lemon in the room spray. Just not for me. And the rest of these are pocket bags, which I am going to dump out here to better display for you guys. Okay, you guys, I do have one other wallflower refill that I finished up. And this one is another Fiji White Sands. Like I mentioned, is not a repurchase for me. 
Okay, as for the pocket bags, I did go through the pineapple mango and I really do enjoy this one. It's very fruity. I really do like the mango scent in this pocket bag. It's pretty strong, but it's so fruity and I love the orange color of the actual juice for the pocket bag. You get just a sweet pineapple and also a sweet mango and I enjoy this one. So this one would be a repurchase for me. And then I went through Beautiful Day. I love Beautiful Day in the pocket bag. Actually, I love Beautiful Day in all forms. This has become one of my top favorite floral scents from Bath & Body Works. This smells incredible. It's fresh, it's floral. It's not too sweet of a floral, but it's just a beautiful feminine floral. I love this in the pocket bag. Your hands smell amazing and the fragrance does linger after using this. And every time I use my Beautiful Day pocket bag, I always get someone asking me whether it's my daughter or my husband, like what's the fragrance that you're wearing? And I'm actually not wearing a fragrance, it's actually this pocket bag. So that says a lot for Beautiful Day and I will always repurchase this one. Another fragrance that I used up is the Sunny Lemon Orchard. I adore this fragrance. It's lemony, it's fresh, but it doesn't smell like a cleaning lemon. It actually has, let me give it a sniff. This one smells so good to me. I love the lemon, but I smell like fresh green notes in here. It's something really green about this fragrance, and I actually don't remember the actual scent notes, but I love the scent of this lemon and blended with some sort of like green notes in here. It's beautiful, and I just continue to reach for this one. I did buy quite a few. Um, when we had like a pocket bag sale maybe about a month ago. I really do enjoy this one and I highly recommend Sunny Lemon Orchard if you're into fresh lemon scents on your hands. This one is beautiful for spring. I did go through another beautiful day in the pocket bag. I also went through another pineapple mango. Here's another Sunny Lemon Orchard. I also went through the Wildberry Lemonade and I stocked up on this one, I wanna say, maybe it was like the end of last fall, I believe. These went extremely fast. But I love the Lemonade and the Wildberry. This smells like Lemonade and Wildberry. I don't know what a wild berry really smells like, but it's a berry note for sure. I feel the wild berry is the most prominent note in this fragrance, but it's blended so well with the lemonade. So it's more of like a fresh berry scent, but I like that fresh lemonade scent. I remember falling in love with the sweet tea and lemonade pocket bag. Hopefully they bring that one back because if they do, I'm gonna go bananas over that one and stock up on that one because their lemonade scents in their pocket bags are so good. So yeah, I would repurchase Wildberry Lemonade again. And the juice for this one is that magenta berry looking color. So, so cute. So I love that one. Here's another Wildberry Lemonade. Here's another Sunny Lemon Orchard. Um, I also went through Crystal Blue Coast. This one is nice. It's not necessarily my favorite. It's very coastal clean and actually it's more floral. So I was thinking that maybe this would be more of like a clean beachy scent. Actually, it's more of a floral beach type scent. Definitely more floral. Um, it reminds me of something that you would smell in your bathroom, like maybe a wallflower refill. This one reminds me more of like a Glade scent. I'm pretty sure I've smelled this before. I just can't put my fingers on it. Thinking it would be more of a beachy scent, but this one is more of like a coastal floral fragrance. So I'm not really sure if I would repurchase this one. It's a bit too floral for me, but it wasn't bad. So 
Now this one here, the ice blue lavender, I would love to get more stock of. Like sometimes these fragrances in pocket bags just go up in smoke. Like you have to get them while they're available. The scents can be so good. This ice blue lavender is good. Um, it's a nice fresh lavender scent. So not sweet and it does lean a little masculine because sometimes lavender can be a bit more masculine but I I really enjoyed this one. This one was clean. It almost leaned more like a lavender laundry scent. Oh man, I really did enjoy this one. So hopefully this one will come back maybe in the winter time. I did pick this one up this past winter and I wish I would have picked up more. I think I have a few more downstairs. I have to dig them out, but I was quick to go through this one. Now I'm looking for, for my other ones because this one was just that good. Um, I also went through a cucumber melon, and actually I really do enjoy this one. This one is the antibacterial moisturizing formula. So this one is a creamy white color formula. You do have to be careful with this one because with using this one, the actual formula tends to build up on your hands and can leave more of like a white cast. That's the only thing I don't like about the moisturizing formulas. But again, it's more like a pocket back lotion. So it's kind of weird, but I do really enjoy the cucumber melon fragrance. And if they happen to come out with just a gel formula for cucumber melon, I definitely would replace that because after a while, I don't like my hands to look ashy and white and the buildup from the moisturizing formula will do that. So, but the scent is nice and fresh. It's a nice melon fresh. So I do recommend if you are okay with that moisturizing formula. Here's another beautiful day that I love. Here is another beautiful day. Here is a sunny lemon orchard. Here is another, here's another pineapple mango. Here is another beautiful day. And here is strawberry snowflakes, which I do adore. This has become one of my favorites too. It smells just like the body care. So if you were able to experience the body care, like during winter SAS, this one is pretty fragrant on the hands. It smells sweet. It's a slightly warm, sweet strawberry fragrance. I really do enjoy this one. I did stock up quite a bit on the strawberry snowflakes, so I also would have to dig these out. But anytime I come across these, I'm quick to go through them because, because the scent really does linger on your hands, and I love this scent. So that's that one, and there's a penny. And the last pocket bag is another Sunny Lemon Orchard. So I'm heavy with the use on pocket bags. They're one of my favorite products from Bath & Body Works. I will continue to repurchase that product. So I'm gonna reposition my camera so I can give you all a final visual of everything that I've gone through. Okay, you guys, so here are all the pocket bag empties for the month of March. I went through two room sprays and two full candles and one single wick candle from Victoria's Secret. Um, we went through three hand soaps and I've gone through one body scrub and then I also gone through one, one pack of the Sephora dual exfoliating wipes, which I do highly recommend, especially if you have dry skin. So yeah, that's everything that I've gone through for the month of March. Not too bad. I'm pretty heavy on clean hands, as you can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs up and also subscribe. Those of you who are currently subscribed and new subscribers, I appreciate you and I thank you. And if you are not subscribed, why not? You're welcome here and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye!